The World Cosplay Summit will be held next weekend, August 7 to 8. In line with this, the World Cosplay Video Championship will commence showing the best of World Cosplay in video. Representatives from across the globe will show their best cosplay performances with stages wider than we can ever imagine. The Philippines has selected its representative to this year's World Cosplay Video Championship and just a week before the main event, fellows from the media get to talk to our representative, Team Namikaze, the duo of renowned cosplayers Jin Hoson and AC Hernandez. Here are the highlights. In lieu of the ano, on-stage uh, performance, since we have this, uh, this unprecedented event, this pandemic happening. So last February, uh, finally the World Cosplay Summit decided to push through with its annual event this year. But instead of having a stage presentation and actually having the event, or I mean the contest in Japan, so they, they opted for the video, video presentation. But still the judging system uh, the only difference is uh, there will be no live judging. Uh, uh, for example, the sa costume, all are sent online. And while the performance is also sent online. So yun yung World Cosplay Summit this year. Mm -hmm. We asked the cosplayers, the, the team, to send their documentation of their costumes. Uh, bali yun yung ano same pa rin meron pa rin costume judging that's the costume judging side the the technique used the uh, how it was made so instead of stage performance usually live it was done live in a yes. theater this time it will be on a video unlike before yung the video is limited to the stage and the background this time uh, the entries can pick any locations they want. There are two uh, two parts. Uh, the first part is the costume judging. Uh, number one is level of precision in the costume. That's 30 points. Then costume quality, 10 points. Then number three, technique. So whilst uh, video judging, uh, we have conception. 45, per, uh, 45 points, Act, acting, 45 points, and uh, number three, X Factor, 10 points. Mm -hmm. Yung X Factor is yun yung audience impact sa atin. Yeah, we were, I mean, we were proud of what we did before, but um, since we still had time before the final uh, submission for the um, international round, we, set, we figured like, we do everything that we could in the time given. So, gusto namin talaga ibigay lahat for you guys. <laughs> Since we were able to show the video to more people by then, we would ask for feedback, like what we could improve. And then we made some changes uh, script just to make it just flow better and uh, portray the feelings better uh, after consulting with um sila at the joy ganun. uh after we we really like <laughs> we watched that first video over and over and like tried to study what what else we could do better and then uh we figured for the finals we'll really um yeah try our best do it over do it better to the best of our abilities there's nothing major change Actually, but yeah. in the execution, there's a lot because you know, in the script, we can't really change that much because mm -hmm. the time limit was really constricting. Yeah, and we wanted to keep the heart of it the same because that's what we wanted to show since, like, even way before. <laughs> yeah, even before it was mm -hmm. live, that's what we wanted. We wanted to show mm -hmm. a skit that you know contains a lot of heart in it, mm -hmm. and we really didn't want to change anything else to the script it was perfect as it is as soon as like the day after we won we started talking about the reshoots so the planning was really like we were planning right away because you know we know that the restrictions might change and all that stuff 
it's pretty unstable. So it, we were lucky enough to had our shoot before the quarantine got tighter here. So it was what we were up against actually was the weather most of the time because mm. you know at that time that we did our reshoot the the volcano you know, the Al volcano was about like it was like ah. it, want, it, it wanted to erupt so we were ah, pretty so worried about it so the kayo nung time na medyo nagkakaroon na ng problem sa Taal yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. and we were shooting in Cavite so oh. Oh, yeah, it's pretty yeah. close so if anything happened we could not shoot and there was probably no other day that everyone would be free before the submission date. So it was really stressful. <laughs> yeah. And I heard, and I heard now, of course, uh, you had, of course, uh, before, you had now a bigger production team. Mm-hmm. You had a larger, you had more people assisting you in your production. Yeah. Uh-oh. So um, how was the shoot? I mean, of course, um, of course, Weather aside, so how was the shoot? Ilang oras kayo na, ilang oras yung naging shoot ninyo? And what do you think are the difficult, uh, did you have, did you feel any difficulties in mounting the mm-hmm. shoot? Or was it a, uh, a, fl- a flight in the park because, it's a walk in the park because nga, uh, you have already done it already. And, and just parang mm-hmm. polishing na lang. Uh, it was a little bit of both because um, after having done the first shoot, we knew which parts to focus on. Uh, ganun naman talaga minsan. Like, even with, you know, making a cosplay, maybe the first time you wear it out, you don't realize kung ano yung mga mali. And so, the second time around, you can uh, make your improvements, make it better. Uh, so, we did uh, gather up more friends to help this time because we kind of had a better idea of what we wanted to do with the cinematography and uh, yeah we were able to plan a, it a little better so it was a, it was a really fun day actually because we're all friends um, and everyone involved just kind of loves this thing like making fan films and uh, they're really into film and uh, are Naruto fans so Parang after we got rid of the stress regarding the weather and the <laughs> vol- possible volcanic eruption, <laughs> um, it was a really good day. Although um, we did shoot, ganon katagal AC the whole day, no? Parang, yeah, it was the whole day. Yeah, because we wanted to uh, take advantage of the the different kinds of sunlight. Um, through different parts of the day and may mga weather surprises pa rin, pero in a good way. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Alright, so uh, just to clarify, uh, Jin and AC, uh, did you reshoot the entire video or just certain key parts or yung mga add-ons nyo na lang uh, for the original um, production nyo ng video? All of it. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. And okay. it's entirely new, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we so, added some it, elements in the costume then. So mm-hmm. we needed to ah. reshoot talaga. Yeah. So there's so, so that the continuity wouldn't be, you know, off. Uh for this one, do you have any like last minute preparations before submitting your final entry to the video championship? Um last minute preparation. Well, um one of the challenging part actually is uh, the language that we mm. had to learn because mm. we had our sk- uh, we have our skit in Japanese, so that mm. the, the preparation for that was really grueling, and we really want to thank Ate Joy and Sir Nakata of Ambox Philippines for helping us out because they were coaching us and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and it really helped improve our skit. And for me, that was one of the hardest preps that we had to do because you know. Um, our judges most probably, especially in the video part, is going to be Japanese, and we don't want them to like. We want to present like at least a really a passable Japanese skit, mm. in a way. So mm-hmm. with a strong accent, uh, yeah, with, as they with, say. with a yeah, that... with an accent. 
as much learning as, the as sketch as accent and then of course uh like naruto has a really distinct voice i can't come close to what junko san does i have so much mm. respect for naruto voice actor and you know i can't do that but uh, i did what i could to to the best of my ability <laughs> yeah especially um, our our performance was actually alive with live voice so it was really mm-hmm. challenging because yeah. even off by a single tone we need to re- retake the shoot yeah mm-hmm. reshoot the entire scene Perfect. so it wasn't just a matter of changing the audio if we messed up in this part because um yeah it's really different when you when you record live audio and we liked how organic and sort of um more in the moment it was yeah. uh so yeah that was i think the biggest thing and also just well for me cuz i don't really do a lot of competitions and uh i mean i i i get nerves too being on this side of uh competition because i i've judged before but i i really have like the greatest respect for people who do this a lot because yeah nerves yes <laughs> well the thing is i only join competitions when my friends have like a funny idea of something we want to do on the stage so like <laughs> um it's it was never really serious for me i think oh my gosh the last time we i went on a catwalk was probably like when we did like a group cosplay for you a up ame event mm. in bahay ng alumni which is oh my god was that 2008 mm, that was a long time ago was it was this with the tux team uh yes we also did naruto <laughs> Back then, I was I was really into competition. I, I was really challenging myself to improve mm-hmm. myself in a way. I stopped being competitive after like winning AFA at that time because for me it was like I already reached the like the AFA. That was my goal before because mm-hmm. before there was no WCS. So mm-hmm. when I reached that goal, and then after that, I took a break and promised myself to compete. be competitive again once WCS is you know available for in the in the in the Philippines so mm. yeah it was like i took a break for like, like six years i think mm. before That's starting long. to think competitively again mm-hmm. mm. yeah and i think that was uh, a long break and uh, so uh, it seems that there's no way to go but up am yeah. i correct And I was really wasn't really into like a lot of people like competing for the money and all that stuff. I really wanted to like to represent, you know, to bring honor to the pet game in a way at that time. That, that's why I was really pushing for competitions. That's why when I already won the won in AFA, I took a break because you know there was really no point because I wasn't really into competing for money or for I know I was in it for the challenge and for the. For bringing honor to the country, the honor. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I so, remember that Afo. My friends and I actually flew over. Apart from attending the event, was to cheer for, uh, yeah, Sila AC, um, representing Philippines. It it was really exciting. So I really did love just you know seeing competitions unfold and what people can do. Um, within the pressures of you know a competition and at the time i didn't really expect that <laughs> i'd find myself here at some point for me it's really just that we we did what was the best for us mm. and um i don't really know if you would call that an advantage necessarily because there are so many elements Um, like we know everyone has given their best. We've gotten to know some of the um, the other finalists as well, and we know how hard they also work. And um, I think it's really just down to everyone, as you know, cliche as it sounds, 
giving their all and giving their best. Every time I'm competing, I really don't think about having an advantage with anybody because for me, it's about giving it your all. And it, yeah. it's, it's only, you know, the only factor that matters is the judge's preference and there's nothing you can do about that. So mm. we just have to give it our all and if they like what they, we did, then that's it. Mm-hmm. But that, the, that part actually is pretty tricky and you, we will never know what the judges would prefer because, you know, it, it, everybody has a different taste and every mm-hmm. entry is different. Every entry is like, you know, I'm pretty sure some of the entries are going to be polar opposites and it's going to be really divisive. And mm-hmm. that's going to be and interesting also, to watch. Um, like, to call something an advantage is like really subjective because, I don't know, some people might say that us picking Naruto being, you know, such a popular series might be an advantage, but it could also be a disadvantage because everyone will know like how to judge it. If something's wrong, everyone's going to see it and more people will be able to point it out. So, you know, it it's really, it could be both. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, with mm. a really popular series, it could also be a disadvantage because, you know, the expectation of the people is going to be higher. And yeah, I think right now... What... Yeah, I'm just really happy we were able to do what we did. Mm. Yeah, we gave it our all. So, you know, I think that's the mm-hmm. bottom line. We gave it our just, all. It's going to be all in the hands of the judges yep. now. Yeah, mm-hmm. just knowing that we we did everything we could. Most of our support for, I think, at least for the video championship, mostly it's documentary and our effort actually is to, since the the competition was started in short notice, like it was just by March or Feb this year, uh, we are actually scrambling to add more value for the reps uh, until next year where when um, the hopefully we can open up for the live the live WCS so we are actually uh, busy looking for projects that will complement uh, the reps and uh, hopefully we can find more before we start with the live one with the live WCS with regards to ano sa preparation mostly then documentary yung uh, yung mga pagsad ng mga entries yung mga informations they need for the for next week's ano uh, final what shall the philippine cosplay community look forward to in the world cosplay video championships well um, it's a really well. fresh new category but with the with some uh, with most of the original WCS fields so that I think that's what the WCS Japan is going for uh, despite being on video uh, it should at least have a feel of the WCS format and for the audience but sadly it will not be for the com- for the competitors because they will not be enjoying the the tour around uh, wherever the organizers in Japan has planned, whatever the organizers in Japan have planned. It will be a different experience for the participants, but hopefully for the audience, it will be the same. Like in the past, we had those live uh, audience things, audience things uh, where we feed the video back to Japan. Um, but this time around, I think they will not be doing that. Um, the, the difference will be more of a in the streaming platforms you do not react directly on the actual wcs stream unlike last time where all the icons were flying around on the wcs stream this time each country will have their own stream based on a master stream from japan so it will be a more localized uh, street uh, webcast for the local audiences it will be uh, slightly different Watch the video and cheer for our team. <laughs> Yun lang talaga. Oo. <laughs> we need kasi for the past uh, years, 
konti lang talaga ang nanonood ng ano vid uh, live sa ano live ng v, uh, WCS competition i hope this time uh, maraming manonood to support our team yun lang talaga uh, spread the news and let's ano let's come together and watch their ano support them in their competition Again, the World Cosplay Visual Championship will be held on the weekend of August 7 to 8 and will be streamed worldwide. It is also announced that we will have our official Philippine broadcast as well. Stay tuned to the World Cosplay Summit Philippines on Facebook for more information. This has been Jay Agonoy with Keepsakes and we will see you at the World Cosplay Visual Championship.